you know that Marvel is known for being meticulous in their movies, adding so many small details and callbacks that many people miss? So let me share a few of them with you, as I have compiled 10 Marvel movie details you might have missed. Why do you think Captain America didn't get Thor's armor when he lifted Mjolnir? Unlike Jane Foster who get both Thor's armor and cape, when Steve Rogers first lifted Mjolnir, he gained Thor's powers, including super strength and the ability to summon lightning. But in Thor Love and Thunder, when Jane Foster gained the power of Thor, she also received his full armor and cape after Thor accidentally enchanted the hammer. So why Captain America didn't get the fancy Asgardian leather? Fine Asgardian leather! Well, there are a few possible answers. First, when Odin originally enchanted the hammer, he said, Whosoever is worthy shall possess the power of Thor, referring to strength and lightning summoning. But when Thor accidentally enchanted the hammer for Jane, his exact words were to protect Jane Foster. Since Jane had stage 3 cancer, Mjolnir gave her the full transformation, including armor, as part of its protection. The second reason is that Cap didn't really intend to use the transformation, since they were in the middle of a battle and wasting precious seconds to do a full transformation scene is not really viable. Did you know that in No Way Home after Green Goblin on a live Aunt May, Peter never really intended to cure him anymore? Because in this scene where they tried to fix the cures again, look at this. Dylan and um... Uh, look, I think that I can repair the device. It's so subtle, but if you look closely when Peter puts down the cure for Sandman Electro and Lizard, he's really careful to not damage it at all. But when it comes to Green Goblin's cure, he put it down hard, not worrying that he may destroy it, because he don't intend to fix it at all. Dylan and, um... Uh, look, I think Even Toby notices it, that's why he was able to act early when Tom tried to unsubscribe Green Goblin from life. <laughs> Hold up! Wait a minute! Did you know that Tony Stark created a hidden weapon against the Hulk after almost losing to him? Let me explain. When Tony fights Bruce Banner in Age of Ultron, they almost destroy an entire city, and Tony even has to buy a building just to destroy it in order to defeat the Hulk. How quickly can we buy this building? I'm rich! After this, Tony created one of the most lethal weapons against the Hulk, which was later used by Rhodey when he fought Wanda in Civil War. Does this weapon look familiar? That's because it's the same weapon the army used against the Hulk in the Incredible Hulk movie. Tony managed to miniaturize it and integrate it into War Machine. Do it now! Did you know that Ned, Spider-Man's best friend, could become the next main villain in the upcoming Spider-Man movie? I had just finished my food call. Oh! If you look at the varsity jacket that Ned wears in No Way Home, its color scheme is the same with a particular Spider-Man villain, the Hobgoblin, a villain from the Spider-Man comics. In the comics, Ned actually turns into Hobgoblin after being brainwashed. And I promise you, I won't turn into a supervillain and try to kill you. You lying, deceiving bastard! I didn't even realize that! Did you know that in Iron Man 1, Obadiah predicted Tony Stark's death in Endgame? Stupid. When Obadiah stole the arc reactor from Tony, he said the phrase, it's his ninth symphony. This is your ninth symphony. In the world of classical music, there's a belief that after a composer produces their ninth symphony, they will inevitably die. Oh, that's beautiful. Huh? Sin. Sin City was a Did you know that in No Way Home, when Peter is on the bridge when he met Dr. Octavius, the suit he's wearing is actually a small hint that Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man will appear later in the movie. Okay, Spider-Man! Don't sweat! Oh. <laughs> if you look at the colors of his suit, he's wearing a dark coat, a light blue shirt, and a dark blue tie. This is the same color scheme was actually worn by Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man in the third Spider-Man movie when he fights Harry. Did you know that in Avengers Endgame, there's a hidden meaning behind Rocket Strip? <gasps> you are an asshole! If you look closely, the red scarf that Rocket is wearing are the same scarf that was previously owned by Peter Quill. A celestial like a god? He wears it because he misses them so much, as after Thanos' snap, he's the only guardian left. Did you know why the color of the suit that Tony Stark gave to Pepper is light blue? What kind of shot is that? 
man. Have you ever shot that shot? Instead of the usual red and gold color that can be seen in most of his suits, many people think this is because the suit is called Rescue, indicating that it's not an attack suit, unlike Tony's suits, which are focused on destruction. Get over here! But that's not actually the reason. The real reason is that the suit color is themed to the same dress that Pepper wore when they attended the party, where Tony first fell in love with her. You look fantastic. I didn't recognize you. I don't want to play with your ball. Why? 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 You kinda got some on your face. Prepare for the end of everything you thought was real. Did you know that before Doctor Strange discovers the multiverse, there's another person who knows about it? The multiverse is real. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Shit! You're off. In Thor The Dark World, when Doctor Selvig is talking to other patients, there's a board in the background full of equations. All nine realms. All nine realms are passing through each other. And if you look closely, it says 616 universe which is the number designated to their universe in the context of the multiverse. Then decided to strip naked and affect... Good grief, he's naked! Did you know that in Captain America the First Avenger, Bucky predicted that both he and Cap would end up in the present day? I can do this all day. Wendy, no! In this scene after Bucky saved Cap in the back alley... Gotta get you cleaned up. Why? Where are we going? Future. Bucky says they'll go to the future, which actually happens. Cap gets frozen in ice, and Bucky is continually cryogenically frozen by Hydra. I can do this all day. Go f yourself.